Do you have dozens of sticky notes stuck to your computer screen? Three different notepads and can't find which one contains the very important note? In this video, I'll show you free tools and note taking tips and tricks that will revolutionize your note taking system, integrating artificial intelligence. Hey guys, I'm Dave and this video will forever change your note taking process. You might already know the tool from Microsoft, Sticky Notes. It's integrated in every Windows computer and Microsoft just made amazing updates to it that actually makes it more valuable than ever. Just think about a paper sticky note, but digitally and integrated throughout all of your devices. All right, so let's open the app here. So I am going to go in my Windows Explorer here and type in Sticky Notes. It says that it is in preview mode so you might not have this on your computer yet but it is going to come very soon i swear so we click on this and here we are we have a pane that opens to the right here and the first thing we're going to do is actually pin the app to your taskbar down below i'm going to right click here and just hit pin to taskbar I'm going to close the app once again, just to show you that now the sticky notes is on your desktop bar. So it's going to stay there forever. <laughs> As a side note, if you ever lose your sticky note or you don't want to pin it to your taskbar, you can use the keyboard shortcut Windows Alt S on your keyboard. And you're going to have this pane that is going to pop at the right of your screen. Also note that at the top here, you have an option if you click on the three dots, to dock the sticky notes to your desktop. This way you will always have your notes in whichever app you go. Let me open Google Chrome here real quick. And boom, set it as full screen. And as you can see, my sticky notes are there, forever there. But it's sometimes annoying, but you'll get used to it, I swear. But at the beginning, especially if you're using a laptop, you're gonna feel that it takes a lot of your screen. In my case, as you can tell, I have many, many sticky notes already. Let's take this one here and pop it out. If I click on pop out the note, poop, it just becomes a big sticky note on my screen, just like a paper sticky note. And then I have multiple options. Just as a side note, you can use your normal Windows keyboard shortcut. By instance, if I want to put this in bold, I select it and I press on Control B on the keyboard. And if I want to put it underline, Control U and then Control I. There you go. I have the normal keyboard shortcut in there. And then I have the other option to actually use a bullet point. Hello, this is David, please like this video you see what i did there and then you also have the option to color code your sticky note you just click here at the top on more options and then you're going to be able to select the color that you want personally i prefer to put them in different color green when something is done yellow when there is an action item red or pink if it's important by instance and then you just click here and you select your color and at the end of the day you can pop out multiple sticky notes and it looks something like that and it is super beautiful and then you also have the ability to actually pin a sticky note to your screen what i do when i did a webinar and this is a brand new feature i pinned this one to my screen so i have two screens here and when i do a webinar i have my camera right here and I actually put this and then when I switch apps, let's say I switch apps like that, you see like the sticky note is sticking on top of everything else. If I unpin that and I click back on my Google Chrome, you see that the sticky note is actually gone. I'm going to pop it again and then pin it. So that's really, really useful when you do a presentation and you have a second screen, you can just pin the sticky note there and you have all of your notes, all of the links to drop in your Zoom presentation or on the webinar that you're hosting, right? All right, so let me unpin this real quick. And here we go. And now I have two options at the top here. I have the plus one that actually just take a new note. And then what I see here is that I have a source. See, and the source here is actually my new tab. But if I click, let's say on this YouTube video here, which is called Get Started with Microsoft Copilot, which is actually a webinar that I did last week. And I click on the plus note once again. 
here you go you see that the source is get started with microsoft copilot free live training and then i'm just going to type random stuff here very good video then if i just click here on the source here it is going to open the link to the actual video where i took the note that is pretty amazing and something that is really nice that Microsoft just added as well is the ability to take a screenshot. So we have the plus button here that we just clicked and the screenshot button here as well. And if I click here on screenshot, boom, you see how it popped a new note and all of my notes from this video are collapsed here under the source here. And what is really cool with the source, once again, if I click, it's going to bring me where it was. But look at this. I'm going to go into PowerPoint. And this is the actual PowerPoint that was used to make the video. And I'm going to take another screenshot. Boom. It popped this note here from the PowerPoint. And I have the source, of course. And look at this. What's the note at the top right now? This is the PowerPoint note. And if I go back to the website where I took the screenshot from the website, from the YouTube video, look which note is at the top. Okay. So it is intelligent and there is a right to the top feature. I'll go back to the PowerPoint. Boom. The note goes back up. I'll go back to the webinar and boom, the note goes back up. I took the screenshot here, the Zebra BI presentation here, the, the fourth note here. And if I open this PowerPoint, guess which note is going to come at the top? Here you go. And then I have an option that I want to show you that is actually pretty cool. If I just click here on my note and then I right click on the image, I have the ability to copy the text from image. So imagine that this PowerPoint was actually a Zoom presentation with someone presenting. I could just click on screenshot and it will take screenshot on my screen. No more retyping or having to ask the actual PowerPoint presentation to be sent over by email. You just take a screenshot and then you can do copy text from image. I'll just click on this. Boom. It's going to put it in the clipboard and then I'll show you how to organize your note. And for this, we're going to go in the Microsoft tool that is called one note and that's actually such a great tool if you don't know one note just download it right now here it is it is like merging multiple words document together that you can actually organize and the goal today is not really to go over what one note can do but as you can see here i have everything organized i'll just create a new page here and then i will call it video of sticky notes and then I will just click here and paste what I took from my notes. Control V. Here we go. And it actually copied the whole thing. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Right. And this is it. So I didn't have to ask the PowerPoint. I didn't have to do anything. And then let's say that this guy here on this screenshot, he made a really great presentation once again. And I want to copy paste this prompt that he used in Microsoft Copilot because I want to use it myself. So same thing here, you can click here at th on the three dots, more options and copy the text from the image. And then I go back into OneNote and then I can just click here and paste it. Okay, this one is a little bit less clean because there was a lot of information. There was like uh, the, the information at the top here, all of, of this uh, bar. But let's say that when you have a Zoom presentation that is shared to you, there is not so many noise. There is not like a chat. There is not like the top bar. So it works pretty well. But of course, you have a cleaning to do. A few moments later. So here you go. After two or three seconds of cleaning, I have the essentials from my slide. I think this is pretty cool. And if I want to summarize this, let's say I have Copilot. I have the paid version of Copilot on my computer here. I can just click here, right click, click on Copilot, and then just summarize this. And it's going to summarize what I saw on my screen. Let's say we want to make it smaller, we want to make it a little bit better, easily readable. Here you go. We have Copilot that created summary in two seconds. And here we go. So that was it. And then as you can see at the top here, on OneNote, you have the open sticky notes. If you don't have it docked to your desktop, like I showed you, let's undock it. 
and then you have the shortcut sticky notes and then it opens your sticky note at the right pretty cool all right but what if you're in a coffee and you need this important note and you left it stuck to your screen just like everyone do right and you need this note to make your task happen or what if your note is in one of these books right we're all the same we are all the same aren't we well this is something of the past because with one note and sticky notes you have your notes on your cell phone now all right let's jump into it all right so uh, i am on my cell phone here and if you don't have one note on your phone just go to app store app store here we go and then look for one note here we go so you take this one here that is a uh, purple and then uh, on my cell phone it's already installed so i just click open and then as you can see on my home screen i have all of my sticky notes including my passwords uh, <laughs> and uh so yeah here we go we have a sticky note so if i click here there you go i have all that i took during this video the second one is also the same i have the screenshot and it is basically the same as the computer i can write hello how are you and then i have the bullet points i have all these same options i have the ability to take a photo let's take a picture and we're going to take a picture of this guy and boom done and then we can change the color let's put it green and here we go we have a green sticky note that has two screenshots into it so i'm going to triple click here and i'm going to filter and sort because this is going to be mixed with your other notes on one note or your other pages on one note I, sh I should say and i am going to click on filter and sort and then here at the top you can click sticky notes only done and then you have all of your sticky notes that are actually on your cell phone as well as on your computer so this is a one note actually on your cell phone and your sticky notes are actually now with you on every device possible and then you can just do the same thing copy paste them to your notebooks and uh, enjoy actually the app on your cell phone quick tip if you want to add a widget like this so you have your phone notes straight on your home page so what you need to do is to press and hold on your home screen click on the plus at the top here and then you have the widget here oh say hi to my nephew and niece <laughs> and you click on one note there you go and then you have multiple options so you have this first one here you have the second one that has more options and you have the third one here which is actually my favorite add widget boom and then done so you now have on your home screen the widget that i previously showed you and you can just really quick click on list if you want to create something it just creates a new note and then you have a to-do list here i need to buy melons i need to like this youtube video and i need to learn microsoft copilot and then the last tip i want to show you which is actually really amazing is how to take notes with ai so integrate ai and all of that to put back in your OneNote. so i'm going to use the microsoft copilot app that i downloaded here copilot poof that is completely free that is the artificial intelligence of microsoft and then i get into the app right here and i will ask copilot to be creative here boom and i will ask something to copilot hello copilot i just hang up with my boss and i need your help to take some notes so during our call we discussed our grocery store list for our team building activity and we will need a lot of beer a lot of excel training because this is of course part of the job and also please make sure you include in this everything that we will need to go to the beach and also to do some fishing certainly here's a comprehensive list for your team building activity grocery store list beer various types all right sounds like a plan for a weekend then you know what to do you just copy and paste this in your OneNote, along with your sticky notes, along with all your notes that are now shared across all of your device on your Microsoft account. You can watch this video to learn how to transcript your video meeting notes using Copilot. If you'd prefer to learn Copilot in a more structured way, I have a lot of courses available right here. Thank you and catch you soon.